Contract, Bovine Blues. Level 38. It's right here. Why don't we get going? There's another town here. Guess it's gonna be a bit before we get back to Wine Wars, huh? But this is also fairly low level. What is it? Bovine? Like, boar? Wait, is it a treasure hunt or what? Right here. Contract, Bovine Blues. A witcher's life is never dull. If there ever comes a point when he's had his fill of cockatrices, strias, or neckers, he can always count on the world throwing something unusual in his path. Oh, was it the cattle thing? No, bovine is not boar, it's cow. Something about cattle... Bracket, sick, falling from the sky. On top of a quarry worker. Came from. Run, Roach. Oh, maybe we want to make it daytime again before we head off? You can't pull one over on me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit too late. 10 a.m. We're wasting the day away a little bit. Oh, look at these vast fields that we can see from here. Slow now. Whoa. Come on, Roach. Kusana's very nice flatlands, huh? The place isn't very mountainous. Ideal for growing or um, having vineyards, I suppose. Okay, where are the cow falling from the sky? That's it, Roach. Are they so quarry? So. We want to be careful not to walk off here. That might be already... Oh, God! <laughs> Too late. Blacksmith. You don't look like a quarryman to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. Are you always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I'm sorry to hear that. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Hmm, sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here, part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. Yeah, we all have our own stories that nobody else knows about if we don't tell them. I didn't think anything was wrong with his attitude, though. Show me what you got. In the very beginning. We'll sell this stuff. I'm keeping all of these, did I say? Oh my god, why do I have so many torches? Jeez. Yeah. Do you want to repair my stuff? Good, good. Thank you. Gotta go. Farewell. I thought you give supplies to the quarrymen here. Primarily. <laughs> Who posted the contract? Who called for me? The foreman. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling! If we don't deliver that head on time, the infesto will twist my plums off! The head? Lebioda? Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look! It's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with... a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? 
Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough, enough, no need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. My first assumption is that it might be an intelligent monster wanting to play a prank. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. <clears throat> My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? So I'm sifting through people's corpses now. Wouldn't be the first time, I guess. What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? So it's the last piece here, for the head. Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt, has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Uh, we won't negotiate today. Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall uh, keep an eye no. out for your return. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, well the case is interesting enough that I want to learn more about it, even without the, um, the allure of a better reward. So sure, let's do this. The cow is... is it on the same elevation as us, or where is it exactly? Oh, it's kind of like, outside here. Maybe above us then? It seems like from the map, there might be, um... Some kind of a town area. If we wrap around here. The house. So my initial thought is it's extremely weird and not natural for a cow to be falling from the sky. So is it some kind of like um a prank? From something like, oh my gosh. Uh, I've sweat dripping down my bum furrow. Maybe we want to learn more from the people around here first? Anybody want to talk to me? Find yourself some work. Sweat dripping down my bum furrow. Okay, everyone's on strike pretty much because of the ghouls and the necrophages. Could I ever use a nap? Well, take your time to nap now because very soon you won't be napping. You'll be forced to get back to work. Already started in on it. They didn't muck up the tracks. Al Ghul. Mm hmm. The Al Ghul, we want to axie it to make the spikes go away. Oh, I really love this art sweep so much. So nice.
we're practically dead already. Okay, what do we got here? Can I check out the quarry for myself? Shoo! Okay, that is definitely not normal. Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Some kind of freak accident. Let's start with a cow. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. The ghouls and the Al Ghoul? Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Oh! Like a bird flying overhead and then it slipped or something and just dropped the cow? Would match with the height at which the cow dropped, because apparently it dropped from high enough that there was blunt trauma wounds. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Here I was, thinking it's some sort of a uh, elaborate thing with a prank, but maybe it really is just an accident. Truth is often stranger than fiction, is what they say, right? Oh, maybe not the best way to get up here. Where do you want me to look through? I'm climbing all over the stuff. There's blood. Blood. Draconid must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Why do we want to track it down, though? Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Why do we want to kill it, though? This was a freak accident. You want to kill the draconid just for dropping the cow? <laughs> That's almost a little bit sad, especially since Geralt had deduced that this is a baby. Like, if we're killing it because they're aggressive and they hurt people, sure. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Oh no, maybe we don't even have to do anything. Oh. It's a stream. Did you go in the stream? Or across? Mommy might be here. Smells like... sour mash. Draconid must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. Okay. If you say that, it's a danger to the people around here. Fine. Fine. Oh! One explosion is enough to kill me, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be very mindful of the... timings here. Oh, come on. Oh! What are you doing? If I make it explode, it's gonna wreck this distillery even more. Oh, God. Damn it. Half eaten body with. Scorch marks? Hmm. 
Definitely not a wyvern. Slizzard. Gotta be. They breathe fire. Slizzard! Oh, that's new! A fire-breathing cousin of the wyverns and the draconids? Bootlegger's notes. So I say to that, Minister Treble, the whole Samator Valley is overrated. Those vines, why, don't get me started on SS. Ever since they started mass producing it, they should call it a Tate, a Tate. <laughs> For it's definitely seen better days. What does that mean? I'm gonna look it up. Oh, was, was. Oh, because it's like past tense, okay. Then he says, right you are, always been a code de blisher. Chap myself. In fact, between you and me, I even prefer it to Sangriel. You know, the wine reserved for her illustrious highness in her inner circle. And then the fool I am, I blurt out, Oh, I agree! Whenever her grace has me tasted, I've gotta swell my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out that rancid taste. Oh, come on, I was drunk, wasn't I? Talking out of my bum. Well, it turns out, I had rather overvalued my position at court. Tremblay needed but say a word in the Duchess's ear. And in three shakes of a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of ducal taster has been given back to Benoit. Can you believe it? After that scandal involving Baroness's Neek and Kelleen? As for me, well, what was I supposed to do? Had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. It's always been my true passion. Oh, some, uh, some high-ranking person had to become a bootlegger here. Just because they said one wrong word. Life is tough in the courts. You gotta make sure you always please the, the duchess and the dukes. And if you lose their favor for any reason, they're not gonna take too kindly to you. Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. My god, you broke the whole thing. What are you doing, man? Plum. Plum. Do I hear something over there? I feel like they might be spiders. I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> they sound like spiders. Something nasty sounding. Slizzard. Oh wow, are they blind? Some peasants once offered me a king's ransom to slay a slizzard, a damned hefty purse chock full of gold, but I turned them down. Coins no good if you're dead, and a slizzard, that's no fucking forktail. One of the Crinford Reavers. Slizzards are often mistaken for wyverns or forktails, yet make no mistake, slizzards are nasty, terribly dangerous beasts, and confusing them for wyverns will end very badly for the confuser. While a wyvern can tear apart and devour an untrained man in seconds, only a slizzard can first bake him to a crisp with a waft of fiery breath. I feel like we should be pretty okay, although I'm kind of looking forward to... Oh, Prince. Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Oh, you make me feel bad for killing you. But I'm kind of looking forward to fighting one, just to see what kind of moves you have. Was in a bad way. Barely crawling. But you're almost dead already. Mm, second draconid landed here. <gasps> the larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Slizzard Matriarch. Okay. Might have gotten a bit more than what I was hoping for. If you ever find yourself facing a monster that breathes fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, bites with sharp teeth, and swipes with even sharper claws and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, then you are fighting a slizzard. With an arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise, folk often mistake these draconids for dragons, yet the experts, meaning witchers, know slizzards constitute an entirely separate species, much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous, with one exception. Slizzard females in mating season, or even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible, preferably by running at full tilt without looking back. Quen, Ard, Draconid, Grapeshot, 
I think it's probably okay if we prepare some of these things already. Like draconid oil. And... Maybe grape shot. Grape shot. Dragon's Dream might be good too, so I'll keep it here. Alrighty. Are we gonna have to fight both at the same time? Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. Well, by the time we get there, the baby might... Oh. Mm, another cow. This one's been dead a lot longer, though. Slizzer did this, too. Can tell by the claw marks, the burns. Must feel safe here. If we were normally hunting one, I guess we might be doing the whole thing where we try to um, poison a cow or a sheep and then leave it around as bait. Trail ends here. Nest's up there. I'd bet the farm on it. <laughs> we see it already. Oh no. Oh no. Am I ready? Oh, we don't need no trail no more. We already know where it is. Oh. There's a road here. Hey, there they are again. It's so close. Entrance. Ford Usar Ruins. There's a place of power here. Uh, so it was mommy who helped you. Oh god, we got two at the same time. So this is the matriarch? It says female. I don't know what the other one says though. Sonic blasts. Oh, fire breathing tendencies. Wonder if Ard would be a good deal here. Blizzard's son seems to be joining the fray. Hold on. Oh! Undying saved my high just now. It's getting a little bit hectic here. Because I don't have Tony Owl. The wounded one. If we kill the son first, the mom might get even angrier. <laughs> Sorry, mommy! I'm sorry, son. Don't worry, it won't hurt anymore. Right. High time I collected a trophy. Oh, This is sad. Dahlia. Greater red mutagen, how rare. Earlier, it seems like the slizzard wrecked the distillery place, the makeshift one, but it didn't kill anybody, right? So I still kind of feel a little bad about killing it. Oh, oh. Oh, we gotta make sure that Roach has the right thing. Because I don't want this trophy. <laughs> it looks so flat though, what the heck? I want the one that gives me 50% extra gold, okay? Yeah, 15%, not 50. Although this one, 10% chance of this member. Yeah. Trophy from the Slizzard that dropped cows on Ardacio. Ardaso. Are we ever gonna see Slizzards again? Kinda doesn't seem like it. The nest. Oh wow. Still holding a pouch. Might as well check out the ruins while we're here. Big spot of blood. Maybe there's some Grandmaster armor here. Must be that ruined Fort Lafog mentioned. Worth a look. Yes. Fort Usar. Blue dye. There we are. Captain Augustus Theorebus's report. The witcher I summoned reached Usar on the 12th of September. He made a favorable impression. 
I had expected a cold killer, yet found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back and the griffin head medallion on his chest. Jerome, as he was called, asked me a great many questions about the beast seen near Mont Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a Lushan. During our next conversation, the Witcher expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward and one paid in advance before he even arrived in Tucson. I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had sworn, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain Moreau, a mage who had decided to use this gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. So Moreau was the guy that we, we went to his lab to get the mutations from. When Jerome heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into a rage. He shouted, and I quote, Gonna give that old bastard a piece of my mind, then ran to the stables, mounted his steed and rode off, leaving the greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the road to Mont Crane, but then he disappeared, like a rock thrown into deep water. Master Moreau claims he never saw the Witcher. Mont Crane Wonder what happened at Mont Cron. Mont Cron. <laughs> Fine. Do we know where Mont Cron is? So these diagrams are nice because it seems like most of them only come in two different locations here. We don't have to go to six places to find six pieces. Mont Cron. Knife for hire and the same thing. Fairly close by. Oh. The further we get away from Beauclair, the further we get away from Beauclair. <laughs> I want to find some time to get back there, because you know, I want to change my armor, I want to change the color of the dye and all, but not getting that chance here because things are always so interesting wherever we go. At the minimum though, we should bring the contract back to the quarry and then head here, right? Probably. We still have to find the place of power first. Now when we came in here, we saw a cave. Cucumber! Cucumber? Have we ever seen cucumbers before? That's a pear. Cucumber! Where did this come from? Exotic vegetable only found on the countrysides of Tucson. <laughs> yeah, we were here earlier and we already collected everything. Now back over here, there was an entrance which is probably where the place of power is. But how do we get in? It's on the sides here? I don't really want to drop down like that. Seems a little bit scary. Hmm, magic. A place of power. Fort with magical power surrounding it. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get back to the quarry first. It's back over here. Along the way, there is a small little thing here, which we should reach if we go straight down. Roach, are you coming with? Whoa. Good thing I remembered a um, roll there, my god. Oh, there was that cow. No, I gotta keep going straight. There's some kind of ruins here, if we do that. Right here? Oh, it was the distillery. And I guess that was the bootlegger. Horrible fate! Also another person who's kind of unlucky. It's just the kind of things that are associated with living outside and not within the city. No guards around to protect you. You gotta fend for yourself. At least you didn't die from a cow being dropped on top of you though. That's a silver lining here. <laughs> Although a very, very weak silver lining. Okay. 
Okay, we're back here. If we can get down to the foreman without dying. Oh wow, this quarry is actually huge. If we do this, Prophet Labiota will be completed, right? Have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young Slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. That is fine. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. Hope your operations can continue. Oh, what he looks sad. All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, man? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardeso. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or... Oh, locusts got them like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. Oh, you sure you don't want me to look into that? I'm always up for being paid a little bit more. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. This foreman here might have to put a little bit more work in managing his crew. Morale seems really low right now. Can I come back right now? Could I? So, Master, the workers who vanished, how goes the search? Oh, you didn't... I didn't know we were looking for them already. They vanished? What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here. At Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you. But I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. Well, you better hope it didn't fall off a cliff or something. St. Lebiota's footsteps. We already have, like, three or four parts. Provide them aid and watch as you erect one of the wonders of the world. Alright. Oh, bless honey. Could I ever use a nap? I believe, That's before we get out of here, there is a notice board back where the guy died. Smell that? If we can get a look at that before we leave here, that would be kind of nice. Sorry, just gonna here, use this table here. here. Buy a full set of gear, get a bottle of Fiorano free. Really? Don't lie to me. That's I know you guys like doing that. Yeah, the notice board is if we take a right here. Lost we better hope the five wagons didn't fall off a freaking cliff or something. Because I wouldn't know how we would retrieve them, if that's the case. Oh, oh they cleared it up. 
Doggy, you might not want to sit there. Nightly expedition to Casteldacia. Dacia? As all know, ever since that villainous Philibert Fourfingers. Oh! Fourfingers' his first name is Philibert, the name of the leader of the bandits who were at the Frente Docks. And his hands murdered the family managing Castle Dacia estate. Vileness has been afoot there. There are even whispers. The dreaded exterminator has made it his home. The time has come to investigate those claims. I'm gathering brave souls willing to join my expedition. Henkel the Bearded, Knight Errant. Missing. My 14-year-old son, Madison, hasn't returned home for 10 days. I worry he has become a squire to some knight errant and wandered off with him in search of adventure. If you know anything about his fate or whereabouts, please let me know. Melia Bloss. Announcement. We buy unusual looking stones. Learn more from the owner. Natural Philosophy Department of the Imperial Academy. Ludovic de Champ's obituary? Ludovic de Champ, beloved father, husband and brother, a senior master at our day so quarry, drew his last breath yesterday afternoon. A death vigil will be held until tomorrow. When his mortal remains will be buried in the Orlemir's cemetery, we kindly request no visitors. His grieving kin. A stew practitioner of the oldest profession, I might not be the fairest of them all, but I can give you a plowing so good, you'll never want to go back to those tarts at the Bells of Eau Griselda. Elderly couple in need. I want everyone to know Countess de Sacor's true nature. The heartless harlot evicted an elderly couple who had lived on Bassane Farm for as long as anyone can remember. I don't know why she did this, but it was an exceptionally wicked thing to do. A concerned soul who abhors wickedness. There's a lot of gossip on these boards. Especially for one that's in a quarry. It's not even like a town here. Not even a draft horse will talk without some carrot to Okay. Uh Okay, that I works. Do what <laughs> they pay me to do. That's it. Our day so quarry. Every man, be he tippler or teetotaler, knows Toussaint's economy stems from the fruit of the vine. Few, however, realize the duchy's lands are rich with deposits of slate and other valuable building materials that the quarrying of such was once the bedrock of local livelihoods. Thus, when gods fearing Toussaint Trois saw fit to build a statue of the saintly Lebiota, they had no need to send for materials from abroad. Instead, they merely reactivated Ardeso. Wine seems like such a saturated business. Maybe quarries, maybe that's where the new money is being made at. Oh wow, this is actually really far away. Like, wh whoa, that's like right next to the statue. Oh, that's visiting the building site. This one... Something probably happened there, judging by how there's a question mark. Oh, in that case... Maybe it's better for me to go back here and get the Grandmaster Griffin armor, as well as visit this one. Yeah? For the Prophet Lebiota statue... I think I was wondering about this before, but uh, I thought that they built a statue. They first built the statue a long time ago, but then somehow it got wrecked, and now they're rebuilding it again. But as it turns out, it doesn't seem like they finished it the first time around. Because the foreman mentioned that the project was put on hold. Oh, there's a knight errant here. One in distress. But have no fear. There we go. Getting a little bit poisoned too. Do you want to finish him off? Especially while he's focused on me? You saved my life. I shall never forget it. No, you were handling yourself pretty well there. Wonderful, good job. Beauclair saddlebags. Is that better than what I have right now? Oh, hold on. Some half-brains have been wandering around Mont Cron. They call themselves Knights Errand, but I call them swill-slurping miscreants. 
No idea what they're looking for here, no windmills around for them to charge, but those adult ankle biters dream up mad ideas no normal man would ever contemplate. No matter what they're up to, they're to stop it. The best way to take care of a knight errant is to cut off his head. If anyone brings me such a head, he can count on a plump pouch of coins. As you know, Philibert Fourfingers makes no idle promises. I can be harsh, but I can also be generous. Right, so the thing about the posters that we've been seeing everywhere is probably because they're the bandits' leaders. Maybe by the end of all these contracts, we'll get a chance to find them personally. All oh, the saddlebags are the same as what we have right now. Before long, you will have to look to fairy tales to find a witcher or knight. Oh, we're both going extinct, aren't we? Got a diagram for something called a faithful friend. Oh, I'm looting tombs again. What's new? So you're one of the knights errant heading over for Mont Cron. Do you want to come with me? Because that's pretty much where I'm going to. You might be a little bit too busy looting that guy, I guess. Okay. That's pretty much it. This is supposed to be Moncron, right? Because that's where the Grandmaster armor is. Right, the castle on Moncron. But there is also another knight errant thing, by which I mean a knight for hire, a knight contract. Well, if you're not gonna come with me, dude, I'm gonna go off on my own. Oh wow, this place is huge. It's just an abandoned castle? No, I see somebody riding on a horse there. Moncron Castle. Duke Roger the Reveler was, as his nickname might suggest, no teetotaler. The story of his alcohol-fueled romps numbered today among the most cherished of traditional Tucson tales. This state of perpetual tipsiness might just be what drove his decision to surround the duchy with a series of castles meant to protect Tucson from the barbarous highlanders of Mount Gorgon. Thing is, no one has ever heard of such a folk. <laughs> Maybe he was just a bit too drunk. It said series of castles. Are there more? On the borders of Tucson? Maybe that's what this is. Fort Astra Ruins. Hey. Wait. Did I come across that but I didn't... I didn't kill something? Oh, I guess we gotta go back there sometime. So what's going on today? Oh, these are enemies. Han's base. They're all on horses. I'm smacking on an empty stomach. I despise it. Oh, Geralt. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> Apparently, we're doing some fist fighting now. Well, yeah, I bet I could beat you with my bare fists. Come back I'm here. I'm smacking on an empty stomach. I despise it. Come back here. He won't even get off his horse. <laughs> Am I not punching the horse at all? He's not even reacting though. Did I find a blind spot? <laughs> Bandits are weak towards fist fighting on horses. Now the horse is freaking out. Oh, I can loot him. Another onion! More onions everywhere. <laughs> Hans base! You are nearing the base of operations of an outlaw gang known as a uh, Hans. Be particularly wary and prepare for a tough fight. These bandits are well organized and when attacked, might call for help from neighboring camps. To prevent this, kill bandits running with torches towards signal fires. Okay, your goal is to kill the Hans' as leader. Kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. With the fires for alarms and all. Let 
Okay. Oh. Castle mine in a dark legend. Dream hideout for bandits. That is a torch runner. <laughs> is it normal for them to die that quickly? Maybe they were just trying to make it easier for me to um, get the running guy. That's got to be the leader, right? This one right here. 48. I'm not even 48. Holy, that's a lot of people. This is actually kind of scary. Tony Owl and maybe Hangman's Venom. Bombs, Rape Shot. Northern Wind would be the same as my Ard, so maybe something else. What's Dancing Star again? Fiery explosion that ignites the surrounding area. Yeah! Remember, we got that one thing on my armor where if people explode when they're on fire, they're gonna make everyone else catch on fire too. <laughs> Look at the amount of people here! Exploding bodies everywhere! Oh, I wanted to throw one across there, but it didn't let me. That's fine. Oh, this is so beautiful! Everybody! I think the leader guy died too. Oh! This is the best possible spot for me to try out that one rune word glyph thingy. So good. Even better than the art sweep. Yes, everybody. Don't appreciate the archer trying to kill me though. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful with the health here. Wouldn't want to die after killing all the... What? Oh my god! No! Right as I said that! I spent too much time playing around. I spent less time looking at people explode this time. <laughs> These guys actually are... It's a little bit dangerous when you let them surround you. Because there's a lot of them. And only one of me. Kind of like how I died in the books, huh? You know, you get mobbed and the next thing you know, you're freaking dead already. <laughs> Nobody managed to get to the signal fire, which is good. Can I light it myself? That would actually be hilarious. Now, us eliminating this base here counts as one night contract, I think. But the other reason why we came here is for the Grandmaster armor. Can I light this? Oh my god. Damn it. Are people actually coming? Oh, that's hilarious. I actually made it worse by myself on purpose. <laughs> this should be fine. Oh, there's like wild dogs and stuff here too. Oh my gosh. Don't forget my best friend, Whirl. Hans dog. It's not a wild dog. I guess if killing people actually gave us experience, then this would be a good way to get it. But I don't think we get too much for killing people. So really, this was just me being stupid and calling the enemies on myself on purpose. <laughs> Man. Oh! Not 
too late to surrender. Wait! That guy's pamperam was different! Do that again! <gasps> Are you hearing this? That's a new variation, right? I don't feel like I've heard that before. A Tucson variation of Pamparam? I gotta hear that a few more times so I can learn it. Pamparam, Pamparam, something like that. <laughs> okay, so note to self, do not use the signal fire on purpose again, because that was not smart. <laughs> to say the least. Again, I think this means we finished our night contract, but we're still here to look for the Grandmaster armor. Which is not here. It's not here. After all the night contracts we did, I felt like I did so many of them, but we've only actually done five. Which means... Oh my gosh, I'm over encumbered! I need to take a potion here. Which one was it again? Fiend? Yes. Mmm, then this is probably a pretty good indication that I should be getting back to Tucson. But right. Oh! Come on. One more dog here. Two more dogs here. Three more dogs here! Actually, it seems that there might be one more person standing here. What? What, you were just sitting here the whole time while all your friends died? What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh. But I was saying earlier though, we only did five contracts so far, so we still have two thirds more. That's quite a bit. Especially since I'm guessing this is not going to be the only time we see this kind of base, right? This base is a little bit more effort than the average quest, or the average night contract. Okay. This is just random stuff here. We got more cucumbers! The elusive cucumbers. Oh! Wow. Uh, that stench. That's a lot of dogs! Why are there so many? Oh, they're frozen already. Just go. Dang, I really gotta make a note to myself to never activate the signal fire again. Because that's a... What? Are they endlessly spawning here? Okay, in that case, we gotta find the Grandmaster armor quick and just get out of here. Because otherwise, we'll be here all day long. Earlier, we stood near here and Geralt said... Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? This has gotta be where the Grandmaster armor is, right? 